the galaxy. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know that I have been away for a second, bitch, but your bitch is back with a whole new green screen technology, bitch. Oh, girl. Yes, bitch, you know, we gotta move it on up. We'll be on different planets, in different bathrooms. Maybe even your bathroom one day. My name is Dean Moda, and welcome to... On tonight's episode, I'm gonna take us back to August of 2015, when I met one of the legendary mothers Grace Jones. And there are plenty of mothers. Congratulations to RuPaul on her Emmy win. Yes. Of the legendary mothers is, if you don't know Grace Jones, then I don't think that we could be friends. Like, if, if I was to say, oh my god, Grace Jones something, and you were to be like, oh, who is Grace Jones? I think I would have to question her friendship. Grace Jones was coming to Brook. I live in Brooklyn, if you didn't know. Shout out to Brooklyn. To perform at Afropunk. And as soon, I think I found out in like January of 2015, they started putting posters up in the train stations. And as soon as I found out, I was like, oh, she's obviously coming here for me. I need to prepare myself because when I meet mother, I need to meet mother, like, face to face, bitch. Like, I am your child. You better adopt me. If you don't adopt me, I'm gonna just, like, stalk you for the rest of your fucking life. So, just know I'm here. I was completely stoked. I had friends that said that they were gonna go. Shame on you guys for not going, because the story I'm about to tell is completely epic. So... She's coming to Afropunk, Brooklyn. It's now July. I'm like, oh my God, she's coming. It's coming in a month. I need to prepare myself. So, you know, I was like, how am I going to get to see Grace Jones? Not only see Grace Jones, but meet Grace Jones and just like be in her presence. I concocted this plan. I said, I am going to lie and say that I am Grace Jones's nephew. Who is gonna tell me that I'm not Grace Jones's nephew? Who is gonna tell me that I am not Grace Jones's nephew? Like, you can't tell me I'm not fucking Grace Jones's nephew. Look at me, I'm gorgeous. I went to Afropunk a couple hours early. I, I literally went up to one of the security guards and I said, I think I said, in this like haughty English accent at that, I thought I was like, I was like, oh, um, where's the VIP lounge? Uh, I need to go see my Auntie Jones. She's here tonight. <laughs> and the security guard said, you need to go to the school building where you could get like these passes. So I was like, oh, <laughs> cheerio. <laughs> So I went down, it was, I was still not in Afropunk, right? And I was not paying to get in. Like, I'm from Brooklyn. You guys just brought that shit here. Okay, you brought that shit to my town. All right, this shit is free for me. In the school building, there's like a whole bunch of lines. And if you're on somebody's list, then you are, you're good. You're like, you go into one of the lines and um, you just say, oh, I'm here with yada yada. Oh, I'm here with Cakes the Killer, for example. And you'd be like, imp. So I, I kind of like lost the English accent, but I was still kind of haughty. And I was like, oh, um, hello. <coughs> I'm the nephew of Grace Jones. And the lady's like, Okay, sweetie, what's your name? And I'm like, Dean Moda. Cause you know, in my mind, it's a family name. It's like Jones and then somewhere down the line is, are the Modas, you know? And she's like, okay. And she's looking and she's looking and she's like, hmm, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. So while she's looking down, I am also looking at the list because I need to know whose name she's whose name is on the list so that if she asks me if it's under somebody else's name, I can just give her somebody else's name and ta-da, like I was using an alias. So she's like, oh, I'm, how did you spell Moda? I said M-O-D-A-H. 
you know, because I have to give off, like, miss, you're asking me too many questions. I'm already feeling uncomfortable because I'm in, you know, the clusterfuck of people, but <clears throat> we're here, right? So, so she's like, oh, I'm not seeing it. She's like, is, is there any other name that it could be under? And I remember seeing like a, a Joey Zaguan or something. I didn't know how to pronounce it. So I was like, yes, it might be under Joey Zaguan. And she's like, Zaguan. And I was like, yep. And so I, I don't know, leave that up to interpretation how to spell that. She's looking and she's like, Joe, I, I see a Joey. I was like, that's it, right? Second uh, person down. And she's like, oh, okay, thank you. So she scurries away as she comes back and uh, she's like, oh, you know, um, we have to validate that, you know, this is the right thing. Um, or, or that you're the right person. So I didn't have an ID that said Joey Zagua. So, you know, I was like, ah, oh, you know, this like, how could this be? So I got a little bit uh, like haughty, upset, kind of, not really. So in the end, she didn't wind up giving me the VIP pass to like get me all the way through, but she gave me like a an entrance pass. So I was like, all right, girl, that's fine. So I get in, I use my little entrance pass, just like a regular little entrance pass, and so I didn't have to pay, so that was like, all right, so now the next step for me is to get into VIP. I literally just like walked in, and I was fine. So now I'm in VIP, and I'm like, where's Grace Jones? And obviously, Grace Jones is not just gonna be hanging around with the VIPers at Afropunk, how epic, right? So I'm like, I have to find out where Mother Jones is hiding. The camera crew are coming in and out of backstage and I'm like, I need to be one of those people. So I'm like inching my way closer and closer to where I see the stage hands coming in and out of and halt. There are two giant security guards, like literally bitch, these motherfuckers were tall. Somebody performed and we were all like, woo! So I was like, an opportunity to get backstage. Bitch, I literally waited until that six foot seven motherfucker was having a conversation with another six foot seven motherfucker and sneaked behind the curtain so quickly, bitch. I was in. And then my Grace Jones is my auntie lie took full effect. Everybody, if anybody asks me, I'm already backstage, bitch. If anybody asks me who I am, I am who I say I am. Grace Jones's nephew, bitch. I'm scoping out what's going on backstage. I see people sitting down, so I figured it's probably smarter if I sat my ass down. I wasn't talking to nobody because nobody was gonna ruin this for me. I chilled out and then, bitch, they came out of nowhere, bitch. I don't know where they came out of, but there was like a, a, a gathering of bats and it flew in, bitch, and it was surrounded by gray smoke and then it just landed and <laughs> 14 people just came out of the bats and in the middle was Grace, bitch, and I gagged. You can't tell me that bitch is not a vampire. You can't tell me she is not a vampire. She has to be sucking the blood out of the youth. It, it, if, if it's not happening, it needs to be happening, or or it happened in the past. I'm sure Grace Jones is a vampire. She probably sleeps upside down the whole bit. It's safe to say I am thoroughly gagged on all of this fucking eleganza. I am just sitting there, speechless, bitch. I spat up water. I gagged. I was so fucking gagged. I was like, ah! Oh! Now, at this point, you might say to yourself, oh, I've seen Grace up close. This is good enough for me. I'm gonna go and rejoin the audience and watch the rest of Afropunk and just watch her perform. But no, this was not enough for me. I am a mega fan. So Grace was in that white paint and she went into the tent and I'm sure she was sucking the blood out of youths, not looking at her reflection. You know, but outside were these two backup dancers and they had on the white paint too. And I was like, hmm, I need to befriend one of the backup dancers because obviously I am her nephew. And 
if I befriend one of the backup dancers, now I'm her nephew and I'm friends with one of the backup dancers, so I'm supposed to be here. It crossed my mind to go up to one of the backup dancers. I was like, hey, my name is Dean, what's yours? And he's like, my name is Tarzan. And I said, your name is Tarzan. Oh, you have on the white paint. What are you doing? Are you doing anything with Grace? And he's like, yeah, I'm going to be dancing on stage. So I was like, oh, that's really cool. I'm going to be standing somewhere trying to let her breathe on me. And I'm kikiing and we're kikiing. And then he goes, do you want to record me while I perform with Grace? And the first thought I thought was, oh, sure, yeah, you know. But then I thought, how does he want me to do it? I'm going to do it from the front. I could do it from the front. Do I'm going to do it from the side. I wanted girl to be on the side so that when she came down from performing, I could, like, launch myself at her. And he said, no, um, I want you to be on stage. Girl. Girl. You. Oh, I thought you would never. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, you could definitely do it. I'm just gonna ask the stage manager if you could do it. And you know, once we get the okay, it'll be totally cool. When you wish upon a star, bitch. Okay, we get the okay from the stage manager. Bitch, I was standing there for the quick changes. She would come down, do her bump. I'm just joking, allegedly. Run back on stage and give them girls a show, bitch. And I was living for every single moment. And then it was her last song, and I knew that this would be the moment because after she would get off the stage, I'd be able to either say something or reach, you know, and grab her tip, something. So, I was so nervous, bitch. She starts to walk off the stage, or, you know, and I'm standing there by one of the speakers with my phone, and the only thing that I could think to say as she walked past me was, Mother, you were everything! Without a second's notice, she touched my face and she said, Yes, yeah, so beautiful. I got my life. I didn't wash this side of my face for like a month, bitch. After that, I was thoroughly done. I had, I had no more room for any more knowledge. I just needed to go home and ponder on that entire fiasco that just happened to me because, bitch, when you throw it out there to the universe... So that was the time that I met Grace Jones, one of my fucking icons. Like, I knew that I was gonna meet Grace Jones. You know, ask and you shall receive, bitch. Oh, girl. I hope that you enjoyed that story and I hope that you thought it was funny and humorous and I hope that you come back. Please subscribe to my channel and if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Please don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm going to be putting all the links below and I think that's it. I think that's it. Bye.